I'm Chris, and this is my channel, Chesapeake Chris. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video, we're going to cover kayak carts and kayak transport. Got yourself a kayak, got to have a way to get it to or from wherever you want to use it. That's what we're going to cover in this video. So stick around. So, to transport your kayak to and from the water, the main three ways to get it there is either with a roof rack on top of a vehicle, on a small trailer, or in the back of a pickup truck. Well, I got a pickup truck and my kayak's only 10 feet long, roughly, so that's how I transport mine to and from the water. Well, I'm going to show you some neat things I got. I built some things, did some hacks, and I'm going to show you some neat ideas if you load your kayak into a pickup truck how to get it to and from the water easily safely makes the whole experience much more enjoyable first of all i store my kayak in my garage and i built this cart to store it on i just threw it together it's just some two by fours um, i built the cart at the same height as the bed of my truck so it'll slide right off the cart and slide right into the bed of my truck. Now, I got some decent casters. You wanna have decent casters. I got like four inch casters on there that lock. Um, you want them to lock so when you pull the cart up to your truck and go to slide it back out, you don't want the cart moving. So I highly suggest investing in some decent casters. I got mine off Amazon. They're not really that expensive. And then on top of my cart, I put some two by fours. Because you can kind of see how the underside of my kayak, the contour of it. So I put a couple two by fours on there and I just wrapped them with an old piece of carpet or rug. I just wrapped it around them two by fours, screwed them down, staple, use a staple gun to put the uh, carpet on the two by fours. And it slides very easily on that carpet. It's very short nap carpet. So it slides real easily, makes it real easy to slide on and off the cart. And then, for the ride in my truck, I just built this little rack. This rack, once again, just is one by fours, screwed some two by fours on it, and then screwed some, uh, basically two by twos on it, wrapped them in carpet, use a staple gun again to attach it. That way it slides right in on that rack, and that rack keeps it from rocking back and forth. It sits really nice and secure on that rack. And right now, I just got another piece of wood stuck in there now so that this rack can't push forward. That way, when I slide my kayak in, that little thing I built here to hold it stable, it stays in one place. Now, if you're going to haul your kayak either on the trailer or in the back of your truck, you're going to need a way to secure it down to make sure it doesn't fly out of the back of your truck or off the trailer. Well, most people use ratcheting straps or cinch straps, which I do too. But as an added safety feature, I bought these basically rubber coated cables that are used to lock up a bike, I guess. And I bought four padlocks, all keyed the same. And I attach a cable on each side back there to my bed with a padlock. And then out on this end, I got another padlock and I padlock that to the handle on my kayak. And I do one on each side. That way, if my ratcheting strap would break or the giveaway or something like that, that kayak is not coming out of my truck. It's got those 3 8 inch rubber coated steel cables with padlocks keeping it in there. It works really good. I just leave them in my truck all the time. It's real easy just to slap that pad lock on the kayak handle, when, you know, and then when you get there, you just unlock it and take it off. That's just an added safety feature. I highly suggest you do something like that and don't rely totally on your ratchet strap or your cinch strap. As you'll see in a minute, my pickup truck has a tonneau cover on it. And if I just do a few things before I load my kayak, I can put the tonneau cover right over top of it. I'm gonna show you real quick. I just gotta remove a few items 
like my orange safety flag you can see behind me, my net, my rod holders, and then I fold down my seat and my kayak slides right in there right under the tonneau cover. Let me show you how this works. Just that simple. And then I can put all that gear in the front of my truck. Now that I got my kayak loaded into my truck, we need a way to strap it down. So let's talk about straps for a little bit. Um, there's basically four different types of straps that I've seen and heard people use. There's these bungee cords. There's two different types, that type and then the rubber type. Then I'm sure everybody has seen a ratcheting strap. A lot of people use these ratcheting straps to strap it down. You can get it good and tight. But then the other type of strap that you can use is what I call a cinch strap. And it basically just has a buckle here that the strap slides through and you pull it tight. And you can see I got one on my kayak right now, strapping it down. And then I put another cinch strap on it right here. I attach it to the front. Got my orange safety flag since it sticks out over my tailgate about a foot and a half. And then I attach it down to my hitch. So with those two cinch straps, the kayak is probably going to stay put. But once again, here I'll show you as a safety measure. There's how I attach my metal cables, those three inch cables to the handles and I do one on each side. So if I'm going on a short trip, I usually just strap it in this way. If I'm going on a long trip, I may replace this cinch strap with this ratcheting type strap. Now you gotta be careful using these. I've watched a lot of videos and I heard a lot of people talk you can really tighten down with these ratcheting straps but if you tighten down too much it puts a lot of stress and force on your kayak and you can actually crack it you can make it weak spots in it so i really only use this when i'm going if i got to haul a long distance to get to the water which isn't too often and then when i do use it i just don't over tighten it too much because i don't want to stress or crack my kayak because it is a little more secure than these cinch straps but please don't use these bungee cords ever. I mean, you can use them to attach it to your portable cart once you get to the water, but don't use those to hold it on a trailer or in your truck when you're hauling it. The rate of failure of those, you're just asking for trouble. You really don't want to trust that to not break. Now I'll show you how easy it is to unload it out of my truck when I get back home using that homemade cart that I stored on. And it's just that simple. I forgot to mention one thing that I think is pretty important. Um, I came up with this idea. I didn't see it on any, maybe it's on a YouTube channel somewhere. I never saw it anywhere, but I came up with it. And this is what I do. I have another pretty healthy rope tied to the corner back here, to the corner bed of my truck. And I got a carabiner on it. And I clip that carabiner onto my handle. And I do that because when I get to where I'm going fishing, I'm going to pull this, I'm going to slide this kayak out of my truck and I'm going to set it on a little portable cart. I'm going to set this end on a little portable cart. Well, when I do that, I don't want to take a chance of pulling the kayak out of the truck too far or having the cart move. And that end comes out of the truck and slams down on the ground. So you're going to notice if I pull this kayak out until that rope catches, it wouldn't be on this cart. It'd be laying on you'll notice the end cannot come off the tailgate of the truck. So I pull that thing out until that thing is pretty much tight. 
then I set that end on my portable cart. Then I can come back here, I can slide this back just a little bit and take this off. And then I'm good to go. Then I pick this end up, I added an extra handle here. I can grab that handle and that handle. And I grab them and I slide this off my truck and I set it down on the ground. Then I can move it down to the water on my portable cart. So I think that rope is a really important thing. I don't worry about when I load it at the water and I'm going to bring it back here because I'm going to slide it off onto my cart. But when I put it in my truck to go out to the water, as soon as I, I hook that up before I slide it in. And that's, it's really a pretty important thing. It can really save you from damaging your kayak. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe, like, share this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Kayak Carts and Transport Part 2. Going to cover portable kayak carts.